machine gun. We are about to head out and run some errands. I'm gonna run by. Oh, that's so pretty, Bobby. I really like the duck. Mm -hmm. Every time I see that. You so can good. draw a duck, but I want to also draw a duck. It's nice and contrasting, isn't it? The bright yellow. yellow. But anyways, we're about to head out to the Dollar General. I'm going to go attempt to um, coupon again. So, And i got to go by the post office. I won't mention it in one of the past videos, but my friend Jenny sent me a package, and it says on the tracking app that they delivered it to a partial locker. When I checked my box... There was no key, no note telling me to pick it up, nothing. So I have to, I'm going to check the box first because I think maybe, hopefully, my hope is that it fell out and they just, you know, had to put it back and it'll be there. But if not, I have to go in and talk to somebody. I don't want to, but you do what you got to do. My hair is looking big. I actually really like it like this. Um, I think it makes my head look bigger, but maybe it's just, I got a kind of a big head right now. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're going to go get that done. I figured we'd do a little intro here since we're going to bring you along. Hopefully when I get in the store, I'm not intimidated and I kind of can record and just show what I pick up. Um, and hopefully they got everything I planned on getting because if not, that messes up the whole thing. So I did make this plan up all by myself because the ones that the other people had wasn't a fan of. So anyways, we're going to get these shoes on and we're going to get to going. Okay, the heat decided to come on whenever I decided to start making this. But I heard a child coming. But anyways, I wanted to break down the Dollar General deal that I got for for you. I'm going to break it down for you. Um, obviously, this deal is not going to... Well, maybe these coupons will still be valid next weekend. I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to share the deal that I got. I completely made this one up on my own, like I said. So, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, it's not... It's not the best deal ever but it's good enough for me and if you remember from last weekend i mentioned that my rule with couponing is if i'm not going to use it if i would never use it i'm not going to get it because it doesn't matter if it ends up being free i mean if it's cheap enough and it i would take the risk but i'm not the person that's going to be up there arguing or you know going back and forth with the cashier over saving three dollars so if it doesn't work out, I'm just going to walk out the door at paying full price for something. So I make sure that I just get stuff that I need or would want to use no matter what. So with that, I did get everything that we will use. I actually needed um, a razor and shaving cream. So that that's a plus. These vitamins I got, they are for adults 50 plus. But you know what? I'm going to take them anyways. So, um... But yeah, I'm going to flip you around, show you everything that I got, and kind of break it down for you. Just showing what I gave for everything. It looks like not much as far as what I got and what I spent. I mean, in my opinion, as far as, you know, if you're like trying to coupon. But when you break it down into price per item and, you know, the fact that I will use all of this stuff, I think I got a good deal. So I'm going to show you that. Everything that I had on my planned list they had in stock so i was happy about that that was a win all in itself um this morning when i looked it up on the app and was playing around with the app it showed this a dollar cheaper than it was in the store so that kind of that messed with my totals just a little bit but it was fine like i said i would this is stuff that i would buy anyways so it's no big deal so i'm going to just go ahead and show you these were supposed to be 450 a piece um so nine dollars for these 
but I ended up getting both of these for $4.08. So it's like $2.04 a piece. I'm happy with that. So I've never tried this actually, the snuggle of these, but I love snuggle. I think that's, we're gonna love those. I mean, we're gonna like them. I don't know if we're gonna love them, but um, we got some of those. And then this Airwick with the vanilla and pink papaya, it smells really, really good. Um, this was supposed to be three, what was it supposed to be? It's supposed to be $3.65 and I got it for $1.47. And then this, by the store receipt, um, it was supposed to be $6 and I got it for $1.36. So, again, I was happy with this. I needed a new razor. I usually prefer men's razors, but if I can get more expensive ones for cheap, I'm okay with that too. And then these vitamins here, they were supposed to be $5. I got them for $2.53. I don't know what makes these be for like older people. You know, it says 50 plus. I looked, they're pretty much, I mean, they're just vitamins. But it says easy to swallow and that is gonna be a definite plus for me because I have a really hard time with vitamins. John doesn't, he can just like take a handful at once and I have to like take vitamins one at a time. So these being smaller, it's definitely gonna be helpful to me. And then the last thing that I got was something that I was completely out of. Who am I kidding? I don't buy this that often, but um, I figured I would pick up this since I could get it for a good deal. I got, this was supposed to be $2.70 and I got it for $1.16. So I'm happy. And then when I got home, I did put my receipts into the Fetch app. Fetch app, you can just scan any receipt and you get points back for that. Certain items do have more points, but you get points back for any receipt and even Amazon purchases. So, um, I, that's something I just started doing whenever I started trying to coupon is I've had Ibotta for a while. I've not used it much. Jen from Southern Mama Drama actually got me using it again more recently because she mentioned a free Red Baron pizza. Y'all know them are our favorites. Um, and I had just bought two the day that I was watching her video because it seems like that's how it works. She posts her videos the day I go grocery shopping. So it's almost always, it's our tradition. She now knows it was like she didn't know. But it's our tradition where I will put away my groceries as I'm watching her video. And she mentioned that Red Baron pizza deal. And I had Ibotta and I just don't ever use it. So I ran on there and got it and got my pizza for free. And that just kind of started it all with me. I'm getting back into Ibotta. And then when my sister-in-law got me back into doing the Dollar General coupons, a lot of them, you know, they'll mention doing the Fetch app. So I got that as well. And yeah, every little bit counts, right? I don't know. I feel good about doing it. Um, getting back into couponing has definitely helped me also be more aware of spending money at the grocery store. I still spend plenty of money at the grocery store, but I don't know. I'm just more aware of it. I don't feel bad if I go over budget when it comes to things like food because it's always going to get eaten. Or for the most part, sometimes stuff does get wasted, but it's always going to get eaten. And at a time of uncertainty, especially at a time like right now, if you know what I'm saying, um, I never feel guilty for going over budget when it comes to food, but just kind of having a better ideal of it, you know, it makes me feel better. So slowly we're going to get there. I definitely do not plan on like super cutting back on budgets if I'm super blurry. I mean, shaky, I'm sorry. Um, I definitely don't plan on pulling back a lot with the grocery budget just because like I said, right now times are crazy and I'm not going to risk, you know, saving money but not getting nothing out of it, if that makes sense. Like saving money and then not being able to find groceries that I need at a certain time. So like today, we ran into Walmart because Jonathan needed some um, bedding for his guinea pigs and Lily wanted some donuts and stuff. So we ran in there and we got that. And I ran back by the biscuits and they had put more biscuits out, biscuits and crescent rolls. I don't, y'all know, I think, I think I mentioned it, that they're just, they're impossible to find at our store lately. So, I contained myself because they only had one box of each, I think. Yeah, they had one box of crescent rolls, one box of the mini crescent rolls, and then I think they had two big things of biscuits. Um, and then I just got a double pack of biscuits, and I got two things of crescent rolls. One, we don't eat them that much. I've just been wanting some lately from watching um, Tamara's videos. She does, she's been doing Pillsbury videos. And then two, I didn't want to be a hog and take it when I know good and well there's other people out there that are looking for the same things. Um, 
the last time we was at Walmart today, I didn't hear nobody complaining about it, I guess because they was there. But the last time we was at Walmart, I heard two other people talking about there's no biscuits, there's no crescent rolls. And I'm not going to go into the store and be a hog for no reason. You know, if there would have been one, I would have took it and not felt too bad about it. But I just did not feel the need to hoard the crescent rolls or the biscuits. But anyways, me and Nolan are going to open this package that I went and picked up from Jenny. Um can't believe the girl spent $33 on shipping a package to me. I seen that and I was like, what in the world? But I already texted her. Okay. But anyways, but he wants to help me open that. So we're going to do that. And we're going to do it on camera. Even though I hate opening gifts on camera. Because I just feel like maybe Jenny wants to see it. But I'm awkward, Jenny. So I'm awkward. But we're going to get in here and get that done. And then... I think that's going to be it for today. My daily vlogs have been like super long lately. So I'm trying to pull them back. And I really don't have nothing else planned for the day. I've got to go out and start a cup. And then um, got to go up and do a few finishing touches on a cup up there. All right, I got to back up. So y'all go back up. My hands get cold. Okay. When do you think get down here? <laughs> no. The whole gang decided to come, not just <coughs> Nolan. But you can't even see Nolan. There's not enough room with him. All right. You know this is my gift, right? Yeah, but I'm not mine. She's my friend. She probably loves you too, but she's my friend. But she don't know you. She knows you, don't she know? It? I'm gonna go sit. That's a big really card. Who? Are you ready? Hey, Jeannie. You see these? We open it. <laughs> What's that? Mm -hmm. It's iron on a fabric. Oh. What's that? What I is it? Know. I don't know. It's a sticker. That's pretty, isn't it? Let's see. It's Let's faith see. over fear. What is that? Your foot? It's got a sign. Oh, it says a sweet mm -hmm. friendship refreshes the soul. We'll put this up here in the office. Oh, what's this? Here. Would you quit? We ain't there yet. Almost. New morning mercies. A daily oh. devotional. Not yet. Oh, well, that's nice. What's this one? I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that, Wendy. What is that? You can read. Illustrated words of Jesus for women. I, I read it by studying. Look. Yeah. It's devotionals with little hey, coloring things in it. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. What's that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So whatever spice is your pumpkin. Okay. It's great. Now, it's really mom. It's very mom. What's that one say? Ooh, look at this one. Mom? It says this is God's country. That is really oh. pretty. Is that mom too? Oh, I don't think so. That one is. Pumpkin. I don't think this is me. No. It's a sunflower and American flag. Yeah, it's yours. Here this. we go. They really don't even know me. What is it? Ooh. They are cards. Okay. What else we got? Ooh. Here's what they look like on the back. Well, they're like recipe cards. Okay. What's okay. this? Kids just make you rush through okay. everything. Try going to the zoo with these people. What about it? Everybody just runs through the zoo. Blue light is the one that rushes really bad. They were pretty. I like those two. They are close. Okay. What's <clears throat> these? Wrap that up. It says, Blessed be the Lord who daily lo loads us with benefits. Are God all deep of our salvation. Yep. Oh, Commit then. to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. No, and you already opened it. No, no, I opened it. You already opened it. Why are you saying that? Tell me not to any ODD. Huh? I'll tell you. We need no, to no, I already opened it. We need to do everything else. I already know what it is because I read the card. I already know what these are. What? Look at it. It's what, a candle. What? She made it. What's a small one? Really? Haha. Oh, a little pokey good. thing. Twist the wick. What's a smell? Smells like lemon. Is it? Is it lemon? Smells good anyway. I don't, I don't have a thing with it. I don't think she wrote in the card what it is. She just started Smells making great. it. Smells good. That's really good, though. What's this one? Another candle? It smells mm. almost like lemon cake. It smells delicious. Yeah. That's really good. I really like the jar, too. Is that it's the other one pretty in it. 
That's pretty. You need to come make candles. I'll, I actually looked at the stuff at Hobby Lobby to make candles because they have really cool stuff there. Okay. Oh, I think that's strawberry. I can't help it. I don't know what that noise was. No. I don't know what that noise was that came out. That smells really so good. good. But I looked at the stuff at Hobby Lobby to make candles because I was actually interested in it. Oh, that smells really good. You like that one better? I like both of them. I think this is strawberry. I don't like that. Lemon. I don't like that. It's super strong. Kobe Grace. Kobe. Kobe. Nolan's favorite thing is a lemon. Oh right, Bubba? Kobe, but smell this. I always like the kids to open Kobe. stuff with me. Kobe, smell. Um, at baby showers. Oh, no. We had a baby shower for all of our kids. I know some people only do yeah. it for like the first one, but we're not them kind of people. Yeah. We are the family that thinks all babies need to be celebrated, so we do. Every <laughs> single one of them. Um, so at the baby showers, I always try to get one of my kids to come up there and sit with me. Because John wouldn't do it. But that way I wasn't alone when I was opening the gifts. Everybody sees that old scruffy dog. Thanks, Jenny. But Jenny, Jenny. Yes, Jenny. <laughs> so she's just got a lot of things. Okay. Thank you, Jenny, for the package. And like I said, if I'm awkward opening stuff, it's because I'm awkward. So there's that. These are good though. I love these. We do. Put my little Faith Over Fear sticker right here, right in front of my desk. And then this, I just hung right here because I didn't know where else to put it for now. And I wanted to make sure I went ahead and just put it up. So we put that there. I might move this to the shop though once it's complete. But for now, it's going to hang here and look pretty doing it. But with that, I think that's where we're going to close out this video here. I got some work to do downstairs, got some work to do upstairs, but nothing worth wasting our time sharing. And then, <coughs> I don't know. I think I'm just, I'm done for the day. Um, it's still pretty early. It's one o'clock. Um, I don't really have nothing else to do until I guess I have to fix dinner and then I'm not in the mood to cook. So who knows what that will be. Um, I'm hoping that John gets home before dark and he can take me out and show me and um, we can look around the yard and figure out where my animals are going so that I can start working on that. It's supposed to be warm next week and by warm I mean 50s and 60s when it gets super cold like it has been 50s and 60s is warm to us um, but it's supposed to be in the 50s and 60s next week. I'm hoping to know where my animals are going by then so I can get out there and start getting it cleaned out and prepared to build the cage, kennel, coop, all of the above um, because I'm super excited and just so, so ready to start that journey. Why did I talk so slow? I don't know. But yeah, um, I'm like I said, I'm really excited to get out there and just find where they're going, get that process started. I just, I'm very, very excited. I have been so close to ordering my chickens online. Um, I've been watching a whole bunch of videos and I'm just going to order them online and get them shipped to the mail. That way we can get chicks and still get females because I don't want no roosters. Um, we can get females. Like I said, they will vaccinate them to just help them stay healthier. And we get chicks and we can, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, calm down. We can get chicks and get on vaccinated and get females. That way, um, I think chicks will do better with our dogs. Y'all know our dogs are crazy. We're going to have to train them to be okay with the chickens and the goats. And I just feel like starting, what is it? Um, I just feel like starting with chicks is going to be easier on the chicks, the chicks, chickens, whatever, and on our dogs. So, that's the route we're going to go. Um, and I'm super excited and I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, I'm already, <laughs> I see you. Um, I'm already thinking about more stuff that we can get later on. I am going to stop with chickens and goats for now. Maybe for this year, but like we're already talking about bunnies, which we've been talking about bunnies for a while, right? about bunnies and then i'm like we could use some ducks too so we'll see i don't know how on board john is with all of this which he don't really have he won't have much to do with it because his main concern was he didn't want more responsibilities than he already has 
Not that he has no responsibilities around the house. Because the man don't do nothing up in here. Other than like the building and stuff. But you know what I mean. Um, but we're really excited. Are you excited, sis? Mm -hmm. Are you excited about the animals? Mm -hmm. They're not going to be excited about the messiness that comes along with them. But they're not the kids' animals. They're going to be mine. So, that's a plus. If they get their own animals, they're going to clean them after them. But, anyways... Yeah, hoping he gets home in time for us to go out and figure out where the animals are going so we can start that process maybe next week of getting the spot cleared out. Nolan already did tell me that he would help me, like he would want to help me get the area cleaned, so. I would too. I would too. Yeah. I'm hoping that once the animals come, they want to help with those. But for the most part, they'll be just like everything else. And once the new wears off, it'll all be on me, which I'm fine with. I just ha I have a feeling that like my kids are getting older. I think I've already said this, but my kids are getting older. I just my heart needs something else to take care of because who wants a break? So yeah, I think we're gonna be done for now. What do you say? What do you say about that? I don't know. Me either. What do I say? <clears throat> Me either. But oh, with the chickens, I was planning on getting two. That was the plan the whole entire time. I was getting two. I've already got their names picked out. Don't tell them. Uh, <laughs> They're super corny, but I already had their names picked out. But now I'm thinking we're gonna get six. I want to get, well, we'll talk more about this later, oh but gosh. I think we're gonna get six. And so if we get six, I've already got my three named. Yes, I do. Um, but the other three, I'm thinking that I'm gonna get some like um, silky chickens, the ones that stay little and they're fluffy and just beautiful. Um, I think we're gonna get some of those. And I'm thinking if we do that, I'm gonna let the little kids name them, Jonathan doesn't care at all which if he does he can name one of the big ones we could do that if he wants to name one he can name one of the big ones be expecting the worst names but especially from john the things that i've seen online said you know if you want that when you order online and stuff like that you can expect a couple of them to die yeah um well we're not going to speak that negativity we're just going to hope that we get six and we get six. So, anyways, that's enough of me talking about my chickens and my goats. And I'm so excited. But, um, I think I captured a little bit of footage of some people up here on the hill have some goats. And we went by and they had a whole bunch of babies. And so, I hurried up and grabbed my phone and took a little bit of video. And I cannot wait. We're not going to have babies. Which we, I would like to find smaller ones. Get goats that, um, are just coming off of nursing. Because... The smaller they are, the easier they're going to be to deal with these dogs, I think. It's going to be a whole journey. You're going to see it. But anyways, we're going to get off here, go get a little bit of work done, and yeah, then... because they should be, like, they shouldn't be full grown. Cause no. there's less of a chance of the dogs being scared of them and they won't try yeah. to eat them or anything. <sighs> but anyways, we're going to get up here and get some work done. i got to go put on house clothes because I'm not going to work in my hoodie here. And then we will see you all tomorrow. No, this will be going up on Sunday. This will be going up tomorrow because I hadn't recorded. So, we'll see you all Tuesday, I guess. As always, remember to show grace, be content, and live blessed. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.